Here's a memo to the reporters covering the presidential campaign. There are issues more important than John Edwards' haircut that could be covered. Say, the re racist nature of the Republican campaign? Now here's a story that didn't make it into our mainstream media, and it probably should have. A spokesman for the Giuliani campaign, a guy by the name of John Deedy, co-chair of Veterans for Giuliani in New Hampshire, gave a, an interview with The Guardian Video, a London-based newspaper. In it, he made some really racist statements. Let's take a look at that clip first. He has got, I believe, the knowledge and the judgment to attack one of the most difficult problems in current history, and that is the rise of the Muslims. And make no mistake about it, this hasn't happened for a thousand years. These people are very, very dedicated. They're also very smart in their own way. And we need to keep the feet to the fire and keep pressing these people until we defeat them or chase them back to their caves, or in other words, get rid of them. That's pretty shocking stuff. Get rid of all the Muslims? That's just downright racist. Did this get covered in the mainstream media here in the United States? Not a bit, except for Talking Points Memo, a political blog on the web. They covered it. In fact, they sent a reporter to do a follow-up interview with John Deedy. He confirmed that that's how he felt. In fact, he said, I don't subscribe to this principle that there are good Muslims and bad Muslims. They're all Muslims. And he also said in this follow-up interview, when I refer to get rid of all of them, I'm not necessarily talking about genocide. Not necessarily talking about genocide. Now, a spokesman for the Giuliani campaign makes statements like this, and nobody in the mainstream media can pick it up as a story. That's just shoddy reporting. You also might think that some of the other Republican candidates would have taken the opportunity to take Giuliani down a peg or two. After all, he's the leading Republican candidate right now. But that's not in their playbook because they're all using the same racist strategy. It's called the Southern strategy, and it's designed to pick off white male Southern voters to vote Republican. It's a strategy that was first put into play back in the 1960s by Richard Nixon, that paragon of political expediency. He figured it out, and it's worked all, ever since for the Republicans. That's how the neocons came to power, that's how they stay in power, and that's how they may stay in the White House in this coming year. One of the most infamous examples of how the Southern strategy works, of how this coded racist language works, can be seen in Ronald Reagan's 1980 campaign for president. He launched his campaign that year by giving a speech in Philadelphia, Mississippi, site of the horrendous murder of three civil rights workers in 1964. Now, Reagan didn't say anything blatantly racist, but he did talk about states' rights, and that's part of the code. States' rights means segregation. Immigration and Muslims have become the new code words for this racist Republican strategy. That's why Mike Huckabee recently hit a real home run. His response to the tragic assassination of Benazir Bhutto was to talk about rushing to the border, building the fence, and stopping all these Pakistanis from flooding into our country. It's a current example of the coded racist language that these campaigns are using. The only person in the mainstream media who's been covering this issue is Paul Krugman of the New York Times. He's written quite a few columns on it. They're important. You can go look them up. And the rest of the media should pick up on it as well. This is demeaning to our democracy and somebody should call the Republicans out on it. 